What's up everyone, Instagram here, and I got some Modern Warfare 3 film, where I go 18 and 4, and I want to talk to you about what I don't like about Modern Warfare 3, but before I do that, and talk about the negative stuff about it, I'll talk a little bit on the positive, just kind of like a broad explanation sort of thing about Modern Warfare 3. So, pretty much... I like the game. It's pretty good. Um, there's a few things wrong with it. Like I said, I'm going to talk about those later. Uh, there's a lot of things that I like about it, including the kill streaks, where you can choose which order you want to call them in. So if you got like a UAV, Predator missile, and attack helicopter, you don't have to use um, them like in the past games. You would have to use whatever kill streak you got last, which would be attack helicopter. Then I'd have to use my predator missile and then my UAV. Now I can choose which one I want to use first. So it's very helpful. Like in the past games, if you had a UAV and a precision airstrike, you'd have to call the precision airstrike in before you call the UAV in. So you don't ha you it's like harder to use the precision airstrike but now if you had a precision airstrike and a UAV you could call the UAV in first and then use the precision airstrike so you know where to like aim it and stuff so that's pretty cool and there's quite a bit of other things that I like about this game but a few things that I don't like is it seems like if you have more than one of the same kill streak if like I if I have two UAVs, it will like if I already have one UAV and then I call like and then I earn another, I only get one UAV. So that's a problem because usually I'll, like I'll stack up my kill streaks and then use them towards the ends of the game because that way like if I get a UAV in the early match early in the match um, I don't have to use it right away where like if I was playing like competitively in like surge or something like that I wouldn't want to I wouldn't want to save it for a later round just because I feel better that way but now pretty much if I get a kill streak I have to use it otherwise I'll get another one and it'll just I only have one instead of two so that's a problem um, another problem, which I think I might have talked about in my first video, is a theater problem where you can't check the scoreboard. Um, that ain't too bad of a problem, but it'd be nice to have, so I can shit like, I can show you what my what I'm doing right now. Like, I have no idea what, how many kills and deaths I have right now in this match, and you probably don't either unless you're counting. And okay, right here we'll we'll watch this. Look at this. This guy's gonna noob tube me. Look at that. I'm bringing the noob tubes back. So yeah, um like man, I forgot what I was talking about because I had to talk about that noob tubing guy over there. Well let's see here. Was it about kill streaks or something? I don't know what it. Um. Yeah, so th that's a few things I don't like. And okay, it was talking about the theater mode and how it'd be nice to have and stuff. And basically, uh, well, now I'll just talk about kind of my setup. Uh, I'll be using UMP-45 as my primary. Secondary, I use an MP-9 at the moment, which seems pretty good. Uh, perks, I plan to have Blind Eye, Assassin, and Dead Silence. Because um, <coughs> Blind Eye prevents enemy support and sentries from seeing me assassin 
like prevents UAVs, heartbeat sensors, and stuff like that from seeing me, and dead silence makes my footsteps quiet. So I'm wearing around and people can't hear me unless they have I think sit rep pro. Yeah, sit rep pro. But right now the classes I have since I don't have a dead silence, I I still have blind eye on or whatever. Um assassin and my third perk I'm using sit rep and I don't have pro yet. The only reason I'm using that is to get pro. But sit rep just by itself is pretty good because there's a lot, of, uh, it seems like there's like at least three, or a good amount, I don't know about three, but probably like an average of one a game of booby trap care packages that the any team throws down and like on the radar it shows red, so you want to go get that and stuff. But if I have sit rep, I'll get close to it and then it'll show... Like the actual thing being reds, because it's an enemy equipment or whatever, and so then I know that it's just a trap and not to go for it. So sit rep is pretty nice to have, and then sit rep pro it's gonna make the enemy footsteps louder and cancel out dead silence if somebody has that. So I don't have sit rep pro yet, but I'm looking to get it, but. Probably once I get dead silence, I'll put that on. So I'm gonna just kill this guy right here. Kill that guy. And kill that guy for final kill cam. <clears throat> it's gonna show those two final kills. So it was a pretty nice final kill cam. Just a little slow motion here for you. And this is when I was ranked 5, so this is a couple games back. And here's my stats. That's the rest of the video. Thanks for watching.